Hi guys, I use EGC here. So today I'm here with uh, a greet on that profile. So uh, this is the first doc states that the deck that I am uh, making for DBD03. We do have rules, we do have parameters to come, which I will also be working on those. But uh, since Greedon is the new right line we received from BD, DBT03, so um, I'm free sharing it first. So Greedon is giving us something in a different experience uh, compared to the previous right line that we have with Dark States that is more focusing on pushing through with regards. Say Bruce, you restand your regards and they have different powers, they clear up regards, they call you new units, uh, they gain extra crit, they retire. The main focus will still be on regards. And without the regards, even Bruce himself is not actually helping you a lot. And then for Barrel Magnus, you put a lot of cards into your soul. Uh, you, of course, you do gain uh, power and crit, but the units with highest power is usually still your regards. And you are doing five attacks, with four of them being regard attacks. So the focus is still on regards. But with Greed on, the focus is on your Vanguard. Of course, your regards will support. Read on to make him threatening, so the regards is still important, but your main attacker, your main finisher, would be on read on. So let's quickly talk about uh, his skill first. Which first skill is if you still have another read on, you will only lose when you are at seven or higher damage. So you gain an extra life, kind of thing. Uh, and because it's that uh, seven deadly scenes, so unless you get into seven, you won't die, which is very interesting. And this skill actually helps you to damage deny your opponent when even when they are on six damage heal, because if you on six, their six damage is a heal, but the cards in, on the damage zone is still five, because that heal isn't going to uh, damage zone yet when they being checked so they can't heal and the heal will just go there and they lose so as long as you keep yourself at 6 damage and you survive and you can push through unless you face an over trigger basically that guarantees you a win and in order to do that the second skill is going to help you to do so which is when this unit battle ends uh, of course it's a vanguard skill so plus 2 and put four standing regards into your soul and then uh, you can stand this unit and if you have 10 or more cards in your soul during the turn this unit will get plus 15k now so the worst of the worst case is he can hit for 13 and then 28 but we do have a lot of cards that help him to be a lot stronger than that and one of them is Boshoku this is the grade 2 in your right line uh, and if you run on top of this card with your greed on you can put one card in your soul and search your deck for one up to one Boshoku add to your hand and shuffle your deck so why you need more is because as long as this card in your soul during your turn if you have 4 more damage your Vanguard greed on will get plus 5k and this can stack so maximum you can gain for Boshoku is like 4 copies of Boshoku and plus 20k to your Greedon. And since your Greedon restands, so he can at least swing for 33k two times, and if you do have 10 or more souls, he can be 33 and then 48, which is very important. And Gomon is, uh, if you ride on top by Boshoku, you can show a Greedon from your right deck and you draw one card, because you do need to put one card in your soul, or you do want to uh, maybe sometimes defend yourself so the extra draw helps um, and the second skill is when this card is being put into the soul with your Vanga skill from Riga Circle uh, if your opponent's Vanga is grade 3 or higher kind of plus 1 during the turn uh, when your opponents need to guard from hand they need to at least call 2 at the same time so 
uh, making the second green on attack a lot more threatening because just one PG and one extra card can't help or maybe when they are lack of hands that one single PG can't help them because they need to give you more um, and that's one of the wing con and then of course starter is a starter so nothing too much to uh, talk about right there and Great Freeze, main deck three more three downs because we do need extra one into our soul to make sure we don't die on 6 damage and person right always helps you extra draw extra power but the extra power won't benefit you fully as other decks because you need to put four standing regards into your soul so which means one of your regard columns even though you get the plus 10k you won't be attacking with them for now maybe later we do have uh, something for Dark, for Dark Stage that can we stand or in premium we can do that uh, but for now with this deck in Overdress in the era we can only benefit one regard column and the Vanguard column and then uh, two of the Hestria so this I don't see a lot of people playing I do see some people playing but not a lot because most people are actually prefer to use the time uh, Jared Dragon. Uh, this card, when it appears on Regal Circle, you can put one card from your hand into your soul to draw one. So, a lot of people do love that to increase the speed. You have 10 souls with your greed on and get extra draw from there. But Hestria is when attacks for each standing regards you have, this unit will get plus 2k. And if your damage is 5 or more, instead of 2 plus 5. Because you always will have 4 other Riga standing for grey down skill. Which means uh, if you have 5 more damage, this card can be a 33k beater. And 33k requires a lot of shield. No matter, uh, even though we do have a uh, light card step plus 5k shield to become a tanky shield, to become a tragic shield, they need to give you more. So that's why I love this card and compared to Time Jared Dragon that uh, only you can use basically once this as long as it stays on the field you can use it every single turn because it's on attack that is why I like it more but if you do want to increase the speed feel free to change these two to this but I don't recommend run four of this that's for sure two is okay And then uh, free more Boshoku because we don't want to make sure our uh, green on can reach like maximum power and you basically get a search by riding so why not ride it more? And another desire devil, Yuka. Uh, this card is a good supporter for the deck but not a good attacker. Why? It's because when you play this card from hand to regard circle, if your vanguard is green on, you can color plus one and so plus two to call one unit from soul. So he helps you rebuild your field so that you can put them in with uh, green on again. But he is not getting power. On the other hand, if you do personal right and when your vanguard attacks, you can choose your vanguard and plus 5k. Not himself, but your vanguard. So, unless you person right, he is only a 10k attacker, and because you always need to put four standing regards into your soul, this card will get boosted. So, uh, that's something that is a kind of not helping you attacking with Fuka, but at least he can bring you attackers, and you can pu actually put him into your soul anyway. Uh, but if you do let him stay and your green on resents, you can plus 5k two times with Muka uh, as long as you press him, right? So that is also helping. Now you do want to like select what you want to keep on the field and what you don't. So do be careful on that. And sometimes like if you actually put in a, uh, a Histra that you don't have an option to, at least you can pull it back out and make it useful to be a good attack. 
and then two of the Crimson Expella for uh, soul charging helps or gain an extra 10k because we do want to make sure our uh, Greedo attack is threatening but I don't have a lot of space so I'm only running two and because this card also used Carnivast uh, this also used Carnivast so we do want to save a Carnivast usage and one main reason is because of Ingen that each you count two Carnivast to give your Vanguard 5k plus and one extra drive if you uh, use Vanguard skill to put him from Rhaegar Circle to Soul yeah and because your Greedo will only get the Rhaegar's in so after battle ends so you even if you can gain extra drive it's only on the second one uh, the 5k too so do be careful on that but getting 5 drive tracks sometimes really saved your life uh, and also help you covering from actually losing a lot of regards so uh, at least you put 4 in you do 4 drive checks if you do want extra pay 2 color blast and then just depending on the situations use this color blast if you need to and also from going on for uh, card restrictions so you can see the color blast usage is actually quite tight so you won't be actually using it again for a lot of times usually one per game unless you really like heal a lot and such then that's another story but usual kind of space you probably use it once or maybe not even have a chance to use it but you do want to see this card when you need, need it so 4 is still a good number Gangrem for soul charging uh, easy soul charge and if you really 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 lack of cards you can so last free to draw one but I usually won't because we do want to keep 10 souls for Greedon and unless we are quite certain we can do that even with soul last free then feel free to do it but normally you won't and then uh, 4 PGs because the PGs are PGs and quickly uh, enter triggers over trigger we do want to crit and from there I'm running for the soul charging crit uh, four extra crit three draws and four heals so you can see this deck is a crit base because our uh, greed on will attack two times and uh, one weak pawn that greed on has is the way of guarding is very very obvious because the first attack you won't have guard restrictions and that's where they drop their PGs or maybe if you are not that threatening then they may just say no guard and then the second one you usually have guard restrictions if they want to PG you then you need to give you free cards in hand or they can simply just put down an over trigger or a bunch of 20k 15k triggers to ask for how many trigger pass that is not possible but the first attack is so easy to get PG at least uh, as a person who fight against this deck I usually drop my PG on my first one and use what I have in hand to guard the second one or maybe even just take it because the second one is a lot harder to guard and in order to make the second attack more valuable that's why I turn it into a crit base uh, and also that's one reason why I'm running uh, the Histra because Histra is a good attacker can simply just reach 33k and from there your opponents really need to draw a lot of cards and once they drop it from there your greed on go in drop them another extra two cards because of PG then they might not have a lot of cards saved for your next attack which will be high power because say if you go maximum you have uh, 4 Boshoku to pump it into 33k you do personal right to be on 43k uh, fully active the skill are restanding to become uh, 58k and maybe even just use the Crimson Expeller 63 then you, we haven't count triggers so just from there unless they get a lot of defensive 
that's going to take a lot of cards from them. And even if they can guard that, they lose a lot of resources. And you do a lot of drag check, so you're gonna survive again. Next turn, you do something similar. They probably won't uh, stand a chance next time. Yeah, unless they are uh, a deck that can simply build up their board and threatening you. If not, uh, you probably can take the game. And you do have like cards like Ingen to gain you extra drive, uh, to have more chances to take into these, so that you can push, 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 push a lot, put a lot of pressure to your opponents and just use up all the resources before they try to make you use up yours yeah so uh, yeah I think that's all I need to tell about this deck uh, as usual always feel free to ask me any questions you have uh, because I do work this deck out on a different angle like other builds that I have is basically I take the deck out I am basically the only person who plays the deck so I know I need to do it myself but here I actually observe a lot of games and even sit down and fight against this deck and know what the weak point is uh, of course there are cards like the desire devil that we probably kind of fix right now but in the later time when we see more and more Decide Devil, we can probably see uh, the evolution of this deck to something else different. Maybe, like I said, something that can attack and restand. Uh, then they can help a lot. To at least make 4 attacks in a turn helps quite a lot. But we might see that happen, we might not. Uh, but based on a... Uh, position that I actually fight against this deck, I think this is uh, probably a better way to build this deck up and play around it. Yeah. So again, let me know any questions you have, uh, any comments, like do you prefer this card, do you prefer that card, feel free to let me know. And thanks for watching guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.